二，走，走。Hello, dear audience. Welcome to watch our live streaming of Amazing Xinjiang special coverage. I'm Liu Yina from CGTN. I'm Zheng Yibing. Also, our Amazing Xinjiang team has traversed from the north to the south, yes. and we are taking the GD SUV. And now we're at the north part of the southern Xinjiang. This place, Yina. Yes, and right now where we are standing is in Jiayi Village, Xinhe County in Aksu Prefecture. And this village has something different. The village is real renowned for the craftsmanship in making traditional Uyghur musical instruments. Yes, there are altogether 290 households here. Almost half of them are making musical instruments, and some of them are the inheritors of national cultural heritage of music. The musical instruments. And when speaking of Xinjiang music, it reminds me of a Chinese term. In Mandarin, we have something called Hu Qin. Yes. And here, Hu actually refers to the ethnic minority groups in the northern and western part of Xinjiang. Yes. And today in this village, we can possibly find many of their traces. Okay. When you talked about the Hu Qin, actually, there is a one. This is one type of them. This is called the. Uh, um, tambor, dudar, tambor, dudar. Well, I'm a little bit confused. So there are several <laughs> names we couldn't name it, but this one is like the vertical flute. So, oh. well, uh, this is really impressive. So, a lot of people here, all kinds of the national people. Mm -hmm. All of them could um, sing, and dance, and play musical instruments from an uh, easy Kazakh autonomous um, prefecture mm -hmm. with starting point of our middle route uh, to the buying blue, buying block, grassland. A lot of people, the, the Vigor people, they can all singing and dancing with different musical instruments. Well, I think these people are really versatile and talented. And speaking of Uyghur music, Actually, the signature melodies are actually played on different musical instruments. Yes. And all the way during my amazing Xinjiang trip here, mm -hmm. I can actually name several. For example, like uh, Dutar, Dutar, Tatar, Tadam, or Satar. I hope my pronunciation is wow, right. Wow, it's so difficult, isn't it? So it's really p difficult to pronounce all of them, and uh, it's hard to distinguish them. So it's just getting to this yard. Well, today we're going to bring you guys to see more, as we're going to visit one family who support themselves by selling and making traditional Uyghur musical instruments. Now let's yes, go inside. The host of this family is A.T. Imi. He's a national intangible culture inheritor. Now this is a door, and we get inside this yard. It's joining us now is our interpreter. Is uh, please tell us your name. My name is Reila. Oh, uh, her Reila. name is Reila. Well, I think it's a little bit similar <laughs> with my name because I'm well, Yina and this is Reila. Your name is similar, Reila and Luina. They're quite similar. Well, probably my origin actually start from here, very yes. long time ago. Okay, please to, to show us into this yard. Please take 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 us into this of gentlemen playing the traditional musical instruments here. Wow, this is a very typical Uyghur family. I'm Wait. just hunting, hunting there. And the Uyghur people are very known for their hospitality. We can see that they have fruits on the table and serving guests. Now the music is playing and that is really impressive. This Musical instruments, some of the some of them are tambour and some of them are robot and all they're using it to make to our live streaming today we can The artist here that playing the musical Hopefully. instrument of different kinds. So who's a, who's a leader of this? Well, we can see the gentleman standing up right now. Uh, is our main character. 你好, 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 你好. Well, this gentleman is. 
Also, business in recent recent days because all the households here are making living, are making musical instruments. How does this re in recent days? They said actually the business right, here is surviving. A lot of people are from here and also across China. There are seven gentlemen just sitting in, in and form band. Musical instruments are playing here. Yes, so there are two all together four types of musical instrument. This one is called Sigur. And we it's have any... this spoon, right? <coughs> yeah, so on one side is, you know, it's oval like. Mm. There are also a lot of the uh, decoration. This one is really special. So, what about the others? Uh, what, up, what about this musical instrument? What's the name of this? How do we. Our pronunciation, Dudar, means a little bit. Uh, do Lovely. Right. Okay, so this is. A, uh, and, this is and this is a, actually, this is quite very good. So let me ask, why do they use Melbourne like this kind of shoes or so by using Marlboro Woods, it has a better sound. Okay. More solid and so, more popular yeah, here more in Xinjiang so, yes, and the bigger okay. people. So what what about the name of this music, this music instrument? This one? Oh, oh so tambour. these two are, are the same. They're called tambour. Yeah. Yeah, it's tambour. Only, tambour is slimmer, right? Yes, yeah, slimmer. <laughs> Uh, so the only difference decoration is a lot of patterns, and this one is not. So from uh, Dudar to instruments. So what about others? Uh, uh, so uh, 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 this is the hand drum. I recognize. <laughs> So, so please show us to the uh, to our no. audience to to, to how to play it. Oh, this is the hand drum. Yeah, 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 this is The top Mokam, this is very typical musical performance here in Xinjiang Uyghur Tongue speech, and that is the bunny singing the rhythm part. Well, this is pretty good. Well, you know, let me try because it try. looks uh, easy, right? But I, I don't know. Oh my god, uh, I'm better, actually using my hand to tap. This is better, better to put to it away from the body and then have a, have a try. So, dear audience, this is way more difficult than I previously thought. <laughs> okay, well, great play. And so, thank you very much. And the next part of So, the next part, uh, Mr. Mr. IT Ming will show us to the workshop to, to show us how to make the music instruments. And probably besides the workshop, we can also find other devices. So, uh, uh, where is the planning? Where is the work? Where is the work? Where is the work? Where is the work? So right now, our main character today, IET, is leading us all the way to his workshop. And let's see what's inside. And on our way, we can see right now, we're standing in the very traditional Uyghur courtyard. It's really beautiful. Right, and you can see the grapevine just hanging up and... The raw materials? 
the raw L. Uh, these are the different, uh, maybe different, different kinds of uh, wooden materials, and I guess these are used for mm. the making of musical instruments. And some people here are making the raw materials, preparing uh, for making the musical instruments. Uh, we're not about, we're not sure about the accessory here, but when we go into the workshop, we'll have a closer look. And you can see besides the. Oh, Several oh. like uh, what's in English? It's called gore, right? Yes, right. it's Very a gore. Cute. We're impressed gore. by this park and also the plants here. It's pretty interesting. So, so this is only part of the preparation part section of the making the musical instrument. So this now, is a workshop, right? This is a workshop. So we are now going inside the workshop. You can see that this room actually converts it into a workshop. It's a little bit dark here. And uh, I can smell, you know, the, uh, actually the, the taste of the wood, actually. Yes. And we can see that in this room, there are piles of wood and half-finished instrument parts. Mm. It's very interesting. It's really original part of the workshop, and I'm really impressed. Uh, this is the, the half-finished product, the dutar, and before it painted and making the decoration to that. And Mr. Aiti is going to show us. Wow, it sounds good, right? Better echoing. <laughs> yes. So now we can see this. Mm.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a live shop, live streaming in the Jiayi Village in Xinhe County in Aksu Prefecture. It is a place known for the making musical instrument. Just a moment ago, the signal here in this workshop is not good, so we come back. You know. So right now we are back in the workshop, and uh, so let our gentleman and our main character today to show us the first step in order to make a good guitar. Yes. 所以我们想问一下，就是来做一个独塔尔这种乐器，它第一步要从哪里开始？呃，对，独塔尔也是蛮好，但是不认识他们的，可以随便随便玩嘛。不是，不认识他们的，要开始要先淘了 material 了呢，有些了不干。第一步需要木材。Okay, so first step, we need to pick up the raw material, and they mentioned before. Yes, because when we first came to the museum, we had a lot of work to do. We had to take the raw material, and we had to take the raw material. We had to take the raw material, and we had to take the raw material. If you have a lot of wood, then you can use it more than a year. We had to take the raw material, and we had to take the raw material. Then we had to take the raw material, and we had to take the raw material. So oh, the wood will oh, cut into this shape, mm -hmm. just like oval like, one side oval like, and the other side hollow. Yeah. So this is the joint part of the musical instruments. This one, the joint part, and then put the uh, just a. Yeah, sort of like this. Use the beam, the plank, and curve it into the shape. Um, no. <coughs> so our. So I want to do the same thing. Oh, this is more understandable, actually. So we can see that this curving wood actually looks like the the outside material for the dutar. So several part, several pieces of that. Oh, this is a quite easy, quite easy to see to understand. So the wood, the wood board actually be curved into this shape and pieced together. So, uh, so this one is called dudar, right? I want to ask, is it to make a dudar? How long will it take? How long does it take to make a musical instrument like dudar? Yes, it takes time. 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 Yes. So Yi Bing, I'm actually a little bit confused. What's the difference between Dutar and Ta Ta and what's the name, right? Yes, Dutar and Tambor. But for me, I'm an outsider in this field. But according to Mr. Aiming, and this part has very special wood. This one, this is very heavy. It's very heavy, and this one is used a complete section. Of the root and use a special <coughs> tool to dig out a hollow inside. Yeah, it's quite it's crazy, it's yes, crazy. it's quite different from the uh, dudar we just saw the moment ago. So okay, so you, like you can have a try. So so like uh, dudar is is the the main body part actually piecing together, mm. but for tadar is actually it's a complete it's overall size. You yes. need to use chisel to make this shape. So I guess this is probably the first difference between the two. And also I guess this one is also maybe more expensive. Yes, because it's more complicated, right? The whole one, the complete one. That you can tell us, we just say this is this is using what kind of tool to make this shape? Please let us to take a look. They use the special chisel to dig up the hollow here. Ah. Ah. So that. Ah. So this is a way. Using this, the chisel to dig up the hollow out of the root. To dig the inside wood out of it, right, and make it hollow, right. So this process is actually for digging and make the one side hollow. So do you want to try? Well, I have some. <laughs> okay. Well, let me. Okay, all right. Let me help. Let me try. It's yes. a little bit heavy, actually. This. Mm. <laughs> right. So it's like this. <laughs> wow. 
You look like the really a professional. <laughs> well, I think this is interesting. This is yeah, but after I tried, I thought that this is not no easy work because it's yeah, a no little bit heavy work. and. Right. Thank you. This is. Thank you very much. So, uh, I got a question. Is uh, uh, is it is it a, is it longer time? Is it took a longer time uh, compared with the dudar? Yes. 是不是会花更长的时间来制作这个 tambour? Well, tambour ni asa shun jikrak wakt kitem na. Ah, mana wakt uzak kitem? 这个比赌台需要多长？不能要需要啥？不能啥吧？但不是呢，百十米高一点。那几根带颜色几多？不，是，我带颜色五百十根的比较多。十五天左右。Well, the fifteen days longer. And for du tar, the normal one actually three to four days. Three to four days, at least ten days. 不是，不是，稍微多了，不能啥？那是贵。Like you said. Он кун артук вакт киди да бланкун. МД ајде дики ашу кюргез материјален кюр пакајлум. Ти да лајде шу ватин. Ма ужасно од ма ми им чин ма. So now we're heading towards the in the exhibition room to show the, the, the well done, the completed one, one the products of music instruments, the strained music instruments. So right now, from my understanding, I've already got two differences in terms of these two types of yes. musical instruments. The first one is um, dutar is something that you piece together. Piece together, but. Ta, ta, what's the name again? Uh, the tambor. Tambor is the thing that you actually dig out from an overall wood. Yes. And the second difference, of course, ta, the tambor. <laughs> tambor uses longer, and of course, it's more expensive. Yes. And there's certainly some other differences because、um, all the because like these two different here, musical instruments actually sound a little bit different, right? Yes, because you're using the different different number of the strings. All the all of them are string musical. Uh, oh, and in, but, and in、uh, talking of strings, yes,、uh, I got one question for our audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have any answers,、yeah. you can leave a message down below our social platforms. Like, what are the differences in terms of strings for、yes. tambour and dutar? Yes, this is、uh, one of the exhibition room to show the accomplished products here. So right now we're inside the exhibition room, and we can see different musical. Oh my wow, God, really <coughs> a huge room with so many musical instruments. So let's let us、uh, tell the difference here. So the first one here, I、this、guess is this is a tambour. Tambour, right? As a、limit. piece of、uh, digging it out from the whole complete wood. So this one, Ina, can you tell the difference now? Oh, this uh, one. Uh, oh, this uh, one is still the tambour. Still the tambour, right? This one.、But、this bigger one is too hard, right? Yes, yes, yes. And let's try to sum to to hear the difference, right? This、the、one is light is crispy, and、right? crispy. crispy. It's really, really. And the sort of like a guitar. Sound like guitar. Yeah. So,、uh, guitar sort of like the guitar, and tambour sort of like they use the hand to play the music like this. This is light, crispy. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs>、mm. So, so Ibin, do you actually want to try to play the guitar? Ah,、uh, I want to try. <laughs> 那我们来试一下吧。<laughs> 我们来试一下。嗯，我们来合作来试一下啊。哦、oh. 嗯。你给他说一下，我们来试一试这个乐器啊。Let's not pack it, dude. Hey, Taka. Let's not pack it, dude. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let me try. But the first way, <laughs> but the first step is、uh, you need to holding hold it,、right? the musical instrument correctly. Do you feel like it's heavy or?、Uh, My name. So, so the holding the music instrument like a soldier is not the best. Or like this. I'm just trying to show it. Difficult. So I for, I guess you're the. Right. Let me you try. You know how to play music. Well, well actually, you try. but we can see that. For I just got a question for our viewers: is、yeah. the differences in terms of string number? We can see that for tambour, they got like several or this one. How many? How many strings? Four strings, but I'm、Four、not sure、strings? it's the complete ones because because、yes. some tambour actually have thirteen strings, so it's different.、Yes. Right, Especially、so、the big one outside the gate of this yard. Yes, thirteen strings. And here I just talked to the local artist. And they told me that they don't identify music in terms of do re、yes. mi, and they have their way of remembering different tones. Yeah,、so、how beautiful poster you're using and holding the musical instrument. But this is difficult for me. <laughs> wow. Let me try. Yeah. 
We can hear the music. <laughs> wonderful. Oh, That's you, wonderful. You, Let's get back to our master, Amy. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay. So where did put it to? Okay. So what about the um, other musical instrument besides tambour um, and and also? Uh, I, I see this one with a little decoration here. This one? Because in some, some other parts of Xinjiang, you see it's kind of the music. This is only for the souvenir. Let me ask. Now,我们跟我们了解一下,就是这个乐器我们也见到了在别的地方,也同样很大,只不过的区别就是加了一个小的这个把手,或者说这个装饰,那么它的名字叫什么呢? Ah, this is a different musical. So for this part, this is only a souvenir. The real one is really big, and the other day I tried it in some other parts of the Aksu prefecture. What about the prices of these musical instruments? For example, this one. Uh, we leave this question to our audience first. Is um, please um, our CDT viewers, do you have? Are right. Please have a try. So, what's the price of this musical instrument? Accomplished one. So, we will leave this question. The, the different decoration patterns, right? For if, if it's more complicated and delicate design, it's more. And then it's a little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper. We answer the question, let our master uh, aiming to answer it later. And okay. this is a bigger oh, one, what I think. Yeah, this is a bigger this one. This is maybe, you know, the better quality. The, the better quality, the, the most expensive one. Right. Yes. 这一把琴呢，是不是它就是在在质量方面呢，或者在做工方面，其实是更好的？对，这是。So, dear audience, you got the really expensive, but I really want to have it. <laughs> <laughs> online and I'm trying to put on the yodo at the end Oh, 700. Uh, 700. A one. different pattern, different decoration, and different prices. Mao, Mala, is 500. Well, actually, I like this pattern. It's like a ball. And yes, different colors and well, good pattern. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to get a little bit of 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 a little
民力强，还是我们那边马斯特人。So, 所以乐器当中这个独特比较便宜一点。比较便宜。So for all these,、uh, the showing of the musical instruments, the next we want to see the performance part, right? Yes. You know. What's it like to be in a band? You know, play of different musical instruments, and what about other things? For example, like when Uyghur people they play the music, and of course there are dances as well. It is outside in the yard. There is a roll up or the party. In local language, with let's join in. Yes. So we'll now let's go. Go out there. Ah, good. Uh, start with China. That 外边的话，这现在这是一个呃 mass level 的一个时候，让他们去跳起来，然后我们一块来加入到他们当中去感受一下。So outside, there are a lot of people. This is uh the waiting. They're going to show this part. And in Uyghur language, mass level. Or Macomb, there are two types of the the party. The first so one is a usual are, one. So as you mentioned, my slap and Macomb, there are different music genres, right? In、uh, terms of yes, my slap would be some. It's a basic term for the party in Uyghur language.、Ah. Usually, one people, one person, or the group of people, even less than ten people, they can play together. It's just called my slap,、mm -hmm. playing, showing, dancing, and eating foods, fruits,、ah. also sort of thing like that. But Macomb is. Really complicated. This afternoon, when we go to the Dalong Clan in Avati County, we could see that. But now, it's a mesh level. Okay, so for our viewers, if you are more interested in Dalong tribes, then keep following us and my colleague Li Chao will present you another live streaming this afternoon, several、yes. hours later. Now it's a mesh level, mesh level, very typical one. The people in the yards are going to join this party. You can this, see this that、level. people are wearing their ethnic minority costumes. Very colorful. These ladies are dancing groups. They are happy, and you know, what about we join them? Well, I think <laughs> let's try, right? Let's try. I don't know how to play their moves. You have a better dance. And we can actually tell that their dances actually are following the music because some of the weaker dances are are faster and a little bit crazy. Well, they are have a they are having a good time, the best moment, and they are these people are dancing. Showing the best moment of that, these are joining this、um, happy mesh level party for the local Uyghur people. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing the live stream in Jiayi County, Jiayi Village in Jiayi County. We have at the end of our live. Overall maps. Oh, it's a little bit slow. Let's wait for the internet. Trip. 
northern part of Qingjiang to the southern part. And by tapping into different treasure box and giving the right answer, you can listen to different sounds of ethnic minority groups' musical instruments. So you were in almost come to the conclusion of this special tour in Italian village. We're making the special musical instruments here with the local features. Now we're going to show you the mashlapi and the local parties here and end here. And this afternoon we're heading towards the Abati County in Aksu Prefecture. It's another yes. very fun. We're going to join with our colleague Li Zhao to show how local people, the Daolang people, mm -hmm. doing the performances, especially Daolang Kong. So if you guys are interested, please keep following us on our CGTN social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, and Weibo. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Yes, please Bye -bye. enjoy.